Get ready. It's time to have some fun, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From KDKA TV Studios in downtown Pittsburgh, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. Hey. It's Thursday. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted because it smells so good in the studio. And I was surprised. Like, all of a sudden, the camera was here, and I was like, what? what what's Wait, happening? what time is, is the it? show starting? <laughs> it is time for the show. Yeah, it smells so good because Bill Fuller is here. He's oh. cooking, and we're going to get to that a little later on. And then look at this. So We have pie. Jeff Roop went over and got us pie because it's National Pie Day, everybody. Look so, at this. Look how a cherry pie. Well, and here's the thing. I love pie. So he says, what kind of pie do you like? And I right. said, cherry, apple, pumpkin, uh, I what, like where, banana where cream. Your nose, your nose, nose were coconut. Coconut and key lime. See, and I don't hate key lime. It's just not my favorite. Yeah. I, see, I, I would have all of those. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have, there isn't a pie that has been made that I don't like. Although... Hold on to your seats, America. He doesn't like apple pie. Well, no, I do like apple Explain pie. Explain yourself. I do, no, I, I would take apple pie, too. It's just as, not as high on the list. Like, when you said cherry, I was like, I'm all on board. Cherry pie. So, a anyhow, we always wonder how these mm -hmm. national days mm -hmm. come about. No, it's Look true. What you, what changing you, subjects. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I like apple pie, people. I really do. Um, in, this was created in 1986. It was to commemorate Crisco's birthday, its anniversary, its okay. 75th anniversary. And you should not confuse National Pie Day with Pi Day. Because P.I. P.I. Of course, we all learned that in math class. Uh, Three point one four. Just stop there. Pie. Just stop there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, mm -hmm. and that is March fourteenth, which makes sense. Three one four. I think that we should interview someone who is on the board of National Days. Whoever chooses right. these National and Days. Right. And find out. Yeah. How do they pick? A lot of them are food oriented, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that too, which is why we celebrate them. Yes. This is why we bring it up we all the time them. here on the show. All right. Do you ever talk to yourself? Do you ever walk? I do this in the grocery store all the Me time. Too. And then I catch myself that people are looking because oh, yeah. I will walk around and I'll say, yogurt, 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 yogurt. <laughs> like, like I'm searching for it. I know where it is in the store. Like I go there every week right. to get the yogurt. But when do you talk to yourself? All the time. All the time. And here's the, here's the thing, though. I'm never alone anymore. I right. always have someone with me, even if it's a small child. So I can say, Rocco, where's the yogurt? <laughs> so it doesn't look as bad, but right. he's not going to answer. But you're me. having great conversations with Rocco. I am. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I talk to myself whenever I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. Like, right. you know, like if I, uh, you know, let's say you're going to talk to your boss, and, you know, I'll, I'll be in the shower that day and I'll be thinking about, like, what I want to say yeah. to get my point across or something, you know? And so. But talking to yourself in the grocery store, that's where other people see you. Yes, yeah, when you're out in public. Yes. I, do that. I do that in the kitchen sometimes. Okay, that's in the oven. I got to do this. Yeah. This is well, over yeah, here. Well, yeah, when you're trying yeah. to remember what you're doing and sort of talk through it. Turns out it's not a bad thing necessarily Thank to goodness. talk to yourself. And that makes up today's list. We have four. It's not so bad to talk to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this is from lifehack.org. Number one, it makes your brain more efficient. Okay, so I totally get this. So in the grocery store, a study showed the name of an item, like yogurt, mm -hmm. for yogurt, instance, yogurt, yogurt. Uh, were able to find it much quicker than those who silently look through the store. I think because you probably forget. Me, when I say things out loud like that repetitively, right. I feel like I'm trying to make sure I don't forget. Sure, yeah, you're right? focused, you're ready to do it. All right, and then when children talk to themselves, they learn by doing. So they mimic adult conversation <laughs> and they sort of use your inflection, they sort of talk the way you talk, mm -hmm. and so when they're talking out loud, that's good. Yeah, I mean, well, you see kids playing with their dolls. I mean, that's what the girls are doing now, mm -hmm. like Barbie to Barbie. Right. I want to go out. No, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> it's too bad that part wasn't on camera because Heather just acted out playing with Barbies. It's All right. Cute to watch. Number three, it relieves stress. You give yourself a simple pep talk, you rehearse what you're going to say, oh. the action becomes more doable. And then number four, foster self reliance. You don't turn to someone else, you figure out your own problems, I apparently. Like that. <laughs>
I'm figuring them out in aisle five. <laughs> yogurt, yogurt. <laughs> okay, well, some, for some folks, this could be a dream come true. Would you like to take a ride in the Wienermobile? In the, did you, what did you say? The Wienermobile. <laughs> <laughs> Wiener Mobile. So Oscar Meyer <laughs> is looking for people to drive this. See, I think it, it's like driving a bus. It's huge. So they need people to, they call them hot doggers, which I love <laughs> that name. Uh, but they're looking for people, full time job with benefits. You sign on for a one year assignment and you drive the iconic Wiener Mobile all across the country. Uh huh. Lucky we should, you. We, we should take a ride in this. We should, when it comes through Pittsburgh. Do you want? We should, why not? Look how serious she is. Relish me. <laughs> this Do you want to take video a ride? This video is funny. Yeah. Did serious. You say it's relish a, me? Did that's you what just, the license plate says. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were just being Okay, well, so funny. that could be. <laughs> they are being very punny. They are being, they're, well, they'll pose. Like, you apparently it's have to pose like job. this. It's a serious job. Yeah. It's a, could you imagine crashing that thing? No, that would be. That's why I probably wouldn't be hired to do it. Can you imagine parallel parking that? No, I could not. Yeah, that would be not rough. a job for me. <laughs> there is a dog in Australia <laughs> that doesn't need the Wiener Mobile because he catches the train. And now this has gone viral. This video of the dog being reunited with his family. So here's what happened. You have to watch this. this his so owner cute. went to the gym. And that is when Ralph made a run for it. <laughs> Ralph goes to the, the train station platform. You see him on the surveillance <laughs> this video. Is so adorable. He stayed behind the line, too, until the train came. Then he hops on the train. And then the people well, who are running. No one <laughs> does anything. No. Right? No, that, I think this is. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is at the end when they get him off the train. But he was on the train roaming around. He rode on it for 20 minutes, and they eventually figured out this dog doesn't belong to anybody. We need to, so they got it to the next train station, and then they took a picture of the dog, put it on Twitter. And once again, social media to the rescue. Right. Eventually, Ralph was reunited with his family, but he didn't buy a ticket or anything. He just, he's, he's a, what's it called when you take a free ride? He's a, J rider or something. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. He's a free rider. He's a free rider. That's what I was searching for. You free said it. Free loader. Yes. Thank you. The voices in my head are helping. Free loader. <laughs> this train is yeah. going out of control. Okay. So, what do you want to talk about next? Free loader. Well, you know, there's a couple in Bel Vernon that wants to have a TV show. And, and the, what they do is actually very cool because they're very good at it. Uh, they have made a pilot and they renovate houses. So it'd be like an HGTV kind of thing. Uh, so. And they did, they, so one of the, pi the pilot that they're sending in is of a gender reveal of a nursery. Right. So this is something that they did. And of course, Pittsburgh area is no stranger to celebrity couples on HGTV taking over and having their own shows. So we wish them all the success. This is Christopher and Stacy. Uh, they both work in the West Mifflin School District, which right. is pretty neat. And he is a painter. Like, he paints uh, in houses, but he also does murals, like big on sides of buildings and all that kind of stuff. So their, their pilot is called Room to Grow, uh, and they have people, according to uh, the Post-Gazette, which did a story on them recently, uh, they have people in California pitching this show to TLC, HGTV, and who knows, maybe they'll be the next, uh, what's it called, Restored by by the Fords. Yes, who, yeah. they, they were also on PTL. So Stacy and uh, Christopher were on PTL once before. And Restored by the Fords, we've had them oh, on Leanne. Gosh. And her brother Steve is a contractor. They've been on PTL. They've restored unusual this and unconventional homes in our area. And it's funny because we were just talking about that yesterday about rehabbing homes and renovating them and reselling them on the market. It's a right. great place to do it here in Pittsburgh. And they do it so well. Yes. I mean, they are really good. A lot good. of style. Yeah. It's, it's fun to watch them on HGTV. And it's fun because it's local. Yes. You know, you think, whose house is this? I it think could be so. Heather Abraham's house. I wish they would restore my house. Your house is beautiful. Oh, the list of problems. <laughs> so the benefit of having a 1935 house. <laughs> um, so I didn't think that we could do it, but we are going to talk about Holland Oats again. We're going to talk about it again. <laughs> because you love them so much. Yeah, so yesterday we talked about how they're coming to Pittsburgh this yeah. summer, July 28th. Mark your calendars, people. It has uh, been Holland Oats will play at the S&T Bank Music Park out in Burgettstown. Uh, but 
So we talked <laughs> about this yesterday, and then Marie was our floor manager yesterday, and she reminded me of something that is so cool. If you can't wait until July for your Hall & Oates fix. I can't wait. You, I know, Heather, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel the same way. Well, it turns out there's a hotline that you can call and they started this like 10 years ago and it's still running because we, we tried it this morning. And so just listen, whenever you need your fix, you can call this not line. Welcome to Collin Notes, your emergency Hall and Oates helpline. To hear one on one, please press one. To hear it go, please press two. To hear Manita. You can rely on your old man's money. You can rely on your old man's money. Okay, how did you say that song yesterday? I would have. You would have recognized it right away. But I love this that they, because in this age, of course, maybe 10 years ago it wasn't true, but now you can listen to Hall & you can pull it up on your phone all the right. time. But this hotline was 10 years ago was emergency like, hotline. emergency, <laughs> and it's still so cool. <laughs> all right, we're getting a it's wrap so in our cool. ears. So. It is so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> so anyhow, we want to remind you tomorrow is Friday. I, thank goodness it's Friday. <laughs> and we are asking for your questions, as we always do. Yes. It's the Friday free for all. So go to our Pittsburgh Today Live Facebook page and ask us anything. We never get to all of the questions. So we feel bad for that. Sometimes we yeah, try and go true. back to the previous week and, and try right. to get some new questions. But we try to get to as many as we can. And we have a lot of fun doing it. We do. So. We love what you come up with. And you could ask. A, David, what his favorite Hall & Oates song is. <laughs> well, no, I might sing again. You don't want to do that. <laughs> no one wants to hear that. <laughs> All right, well, before Friday comes today, and we have a lot on today's show. Yes. Chef Bill Fuller is here. He's making the studio smell good because he's cooking, helping us get ready for Chinese New Year this weekend. Get his recipe for a special dish from Soba that you can make at home. I bet he's called the Hall & Oates emergency line before. <laughs> Maybe. And get ready to party. The Winter Gallery Crawl is the biggest party in town this weekend and everyone's invited so is Mikey Hood she went to one of the stops on the crawl for a PTL first look ahead if she can get in the door <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. what's going on there <laughs> plus we're back live at the ice house in Market Square uh, we saw it being built the other day and look Selena's just lounging there <laughs> in the bathroom oh she's in the, taking a oh, soak she's in in the, the tub. tub yeah it has a bathroom a kitchen and a garage it's all made of ice and Selena is going to give us a tour coming up Thank you for being with us on this Thursday, January 23rd. We're going to be right back.